Hello everybody and welcome back to the mega modded Skyrim series. We are back again here in the Companions Guild at the moment. Looking to potentially start as a companion and first of all, as Lucian said, we're just going to fetch quest. So we've got to go and check out that and arm it as a, put it as a, I just saw arms and red arms, put it as our main quest here. Um, there you go. Give Vilkas the sword, uh, gi give Vilkas sword to Forge Master Greymane at the Skyforge. Okay, let's go and do that. We've obviously spoke to Greymane a few times. Is he still up there? It's probably a little bit late for him now. It's like 8 o'clock. Still. <laughs> I'm liking the fact that there's just, like, these wolves wandering around. Come on, Lucian. Let's go speak to this man here. What Hello. brings you here? Vilka sent me with his sword. I'm guessing you're the newcomer then. Yes, we spoke earlier. <laughs> Just that doing attitude what I'm would asked. get you far, if you are some stuffy merchant or a Jarl's footstool. Around here, you'll want to learn to live your own life. Remember, nobody rules anybody in the companions. Good to know. Good to know. Um, I'll I need have to a be favor going. to ask. Okay, is this wolf okay? What is it? I've been working on a shield for Aela. My wife is in mourning, and I need to get back to her soon. I'd be much obliged if you could take this to Aela for me. Of course, why not? I'm happy to lend That's a hand. That's a good man. I like the way he's like, don't work for anyone, do your own thing. Hey, hey, will you work for me and do this? I mean, I will, but... Oh, level up, nice. Okay, let's go for more stamina. I want to get as much stamina as possible. Um, and what have we got going on so far? Probably want to go into one-handed again here. Uh, we can't. We can't actually get into one-handed yet. Um, light arm. We've already been into speech. Maybe. What's what's uh what's our th that base level of speech? Bribery. That's good. Shouting. Okay, this involves some shouting stuff, which is kind of useful. Um, yeah, let's go with some some of that, just so we can buy stuff and sell stuff for better prices. I think it'll be useful. Okay. Into Yavaska. I really like Yavaska as a building. It's really cool. The fact that it's like a flipped up boat. Right, where are we looking? Down into the living quarters. And we'll probably go and get a night's rest after this as well and distribute our skills. I have your sword. I don't mean to wake you if you're asleep. Okay, luckily you're not. If you wish to hunt with me, your feet need to be quick and your eyes quicker. I will try. But I have your shield. Ah, good. I've been waiting for this. Good to see you made it up here. You know this one? I saw him training in the yard with Vilkis. Ah, Indeed yes. I was. I heard you gave him quite a thrashing. Don't let Vilkis <laughs> catch you saying that. I mean, he did scream and run away with a horn. In a real fight? I would kill him. I don't care for bursting. Let's say that, ah, yeah. A man of action. Here, let's have Farkas show you where you'll be resting your head. Oh, we get a bed in here, do Did you call me? Of course we did, Ice Brain. Show this new blood where the rest of the whelps sleep. New blood? Oh, I remember. One second. I'm sorry to disturb you, my guy, but I just want to quickly put my uh, my lantern on. Because it's getting a bit dark in here. Oh, there come you go. on, follow me. Yeah, we actually wear it on our on our person, which is really nice. Skior and Ayala like to tease me, but they're good people. They challenge us to be our best. <laughs> Nice to have a new face around. It gets boring here sometimes. I hope we keep you. This can be a rough life. Okay. I'm gonna guess that this table was placed here um, by mods. <laughs> His pathing does not realize that, so let's try and help move him. <laughs> uh, there's always these small issues with mods and stuff, right? There you go. He learned eventually. The are up here. Just pick a bed and fall in it when you're tired. Tell okay. me we'll keep the place clean. She always has. This this bed. I want this one. Pick a bed and fall in it. Okay, most of them are earned. Okay, we can take this one though. Thank you much, good sir. Let's let's go to sleep. And we will rest for probably like ten hours. 
And then there we go, we can distribute our skill points as well. Very nice. Okay, um... So I wanted to go into warrior skills. I wanted to definitely do some more one-handed. One-handed up to 20. Get archery up to 20 as well. And then... Light armor. So 15. And what else can we go for here? Speech. Magic skills. Um... Not really got a an idea of what I want to do next, to be honest. We could do block just just in case we want to go with sword and shield. I'll do a bit of block. There you go. Cool. And there's a cool way of doing things, you know, to level up your skills like that. We gain skill points through All right, leveling so here up. You are. Looks like the others are eager to meet you. Come to me or Ayala if you're looking for work. Once you've made a bit of a name for yourself, Skior and Vilkas might have things for you to do. Good luck. Welcome to the Companions. By the way, if you're looking for something to do, we've gotten a letter about someone needing some muscle right here in Whiterun Hold. We can I don't try know that. What the fight is about, and that's not our business anyway. I just need you to go out there, look tough, and scare this milk drinker into submission. No more than that. I don't want to hear about a killing, understand? <clears throat> I'm sure we can handle that. Go. There you go. Bring honor to yourself and the companions. But yeah, so one thing I'm a little unsure about in terms of our skills is I don't know if we can level these up naturally, like by by doing stuff, or if we can only do them via the bed. I think it's only via the bed, but it's kind of an interesting way of doing things. And I think each level up takes more of the points, so it's not going to be super easy to just beeline one to a hundred. It's kind of an interesting way of doing things, and I like the way you can like. Sort of distribute and make your build the way you want to make it. Right, anyways, so let's uh, let's intimidate. That's it. They're it seems us to be. Join? That was easier than I expected. Indeed, it was. Indeed, it was. But anyways, let's go and intimidate this guy in the early hours of the morn. This is not where I was expecting that to lead. Oops. Where? Where am I? Okay. That was confusing. I really like all the displays. They have like a Spriggan, a Troll, a, a Bear, a Saber Cat. It's really cool. Makes this place it's look like very prestigious. Like Why does it want me to go out of this door? Also, I'm, I apologize about all your bread. But yeah, it's kind of nice that we have like a, a kind of unofficial home now. Okay, it is raining a little bit. No need to worry. Right. Four. Right, let's intimidate the war bear. Look at this little goat. Climb. I, I absolutely love this mod. Look at that, that's so cool. Hello? I've been looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Okay. Let's see here. I have a letter here for you. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Thank you. We've got plenty of uh, different quests that have popped up. Riches beyond imagining. I found these words inscribed in ancient dwarven okay. ruins in the woods. I believe they were the city. Okay. Forgotten city. My brother went in a few days Look, ago and you've already been hasn't told returned. you're not allowed here. Turn around and go back the way you came. We're causing no trouble. All we ask is to look for I've her. I don't care what you're doing. Which is After what happened, you're lucky I don't help. toss you in jail. Now get I'll lost. Be waiting for you we in the will ruins. be back. Please hurry. This is not over. And remember, riches beyond imagining. Okay, we can turn off our torch now. I need to put that torch on our favorites as well, to be honest. There you go, so I can turn it on and off when I need to. But look at that, just climb this roof casually while listening to that. I just love it. It's such a good mod. Right, let's head in here. More maidens. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. If not, let me know. I might Welcome to War Maidens. Now don't let the name worry you. We got plenty of steel for fighting men. Oh god, we gotta brawl him. I'm gonna ask what he's mm. got for sale first Blades, before I fight helmets, him. Pretty much anything to suit your needs. See if he's got anything that I'd like. 
Blades of Dibella. Mm. Intriguing. Steel Sword. Oh, the Steel Sword looks very nice. The, the sprites for some of these items. The sprites. This isn't sprites anymore. The, the assets of some of these items are really cool. That's a lot of types of iron boots, my guy. League of Assassin's Scabbard. Interesting. You have a lot of stuff, my guy, but I've been sent to you brawl, you scare sir. me into submission. Let's go. Come on. Let's see what you're made of. Okay, this is too small a room to fight in. Let's, uh, let's come out here. Okay, let me, let me past you, guys. Let me past you. There, there you go. Lucian! Please get out of the way. I'll this guy's you tough. Good. That's all you got. Oh. This guy's actually pretty pretty difficult. You're good as dead. Like I think we got him. I think we got him. Yeah, we got him. We got him. That was close though. That was close. He almost got me. Lucian, put your sword away. This isn't the, this isn't that type of combat. Tougher than you look. You got me, fair and square. Fine, I'll take care of it. Just please leave me alone. Good, good. Actually, to be fair, we probably want to use our fast healing. To be honest. That's not what I wanted to do. This one. Oh yes, that's that's very nice. Right, out we go. Okay. Come on, Lucian. I, I'm very confused about the hair colour thing. Everyone's hair colour keeps seems to change depending on the weather. You okay there? Ooh, look at this shop. Oh my god, this shop looks amazing. Chops and steaks fit for a yarl. Come and see my selection of the finest quality meats. I'm okay, thank you. I do not I do not need quality meats hmm. at this time. Who are you? Everything I've got on display, really. Oh, okay. You got a lockpick and a bunch of food. Safe travel. I don't need food right now, thank you. Head back into Yavaska. I don't think we need to go through into that back door. I don't think it really matters. I think it's just giving us a weird uh, prompt in terms of where to go. There you go, look, yeah. Skior says that I have the strength of Isgrimor, and my brother has his smarts. Interesting, but I you took care of that problem. You seem to have a knack for this kind of thing. I'll make sure people in charge know. Didn't we just discuss the fact that um, no one's in charge here? Anyways, Skior was work. looking for you earlier. Don't know. He just said he needed to talk to you before you do anything else. I don't like making him angry, but there is some work for you if you want it. Sure thing. Let's go and have a look, see, shall we? Back down into the living quarters. Yeah, we're leveling up really fast at the moment. I think once, we, until we get to like level 15, we're probably going to level pretty quickly. After that point, it'll probably slow down quite a bit. Hello, good sir. There you are. I did. Your time, it seems, has come. Very nice. Last week, a scholar came to us. He said he knew where we could find another fragment of Wuthrad. He seemed a fool to me, but if he's right, the honor of the Companions demand that we seek it out. I'd be honored to retrieve There's it. There's a fine line between respect and bootlicking, new blood. But I like your spirit. We've decided this will be your trial. Do well, and you'll be counted among the Companions. Farkas will be your shield sibling on this venture, whelp. He'll answer any questions you have. Try not to disappoint, or to get him killed. Sounds good to me. Okay, let's go speak to Farkas, and we'll head on our way. Ooh, an initiation tech. 
Indeed. I really like the fact that Lucian, like, one of the reasons I picked up Lucian as a follower is, one, he's not too strong, which I like. I don't like strong followers. But more importantly, he, w like, has commentary about everything, including modded stuff. I so I'm told. Let's see if you impress. Why did he call this my trial? I watch you to make sure you're honorable. If you are honorable and strong, then I can call you brother. Okay. I will meet you at the camp then, I guess. Don't delay, shield brother. Another level up. Like I said, we're getting a lot of level ups at the moment. We'll go health this time. Um, and I think we can do one-handed again now. There you go. It's hard to Our one-handed weapons do a lot more damage now. Fifteen. I'm actually in the city where Ragnar the Red met his end. Watch out for shield maidens. Indeed, indeed. Right, let's take a look at our map and see where we're actually going here. Okay. We've got a little ways to go. Let's uh, let's make our way away. Yeah. So one one thing that that I've noticed that is like slightly problematic. Is uh, So, there's a map called Atlas Markers, which essentially adds a map marker for all of the buildings. But each one of those counts as a discovered area and gives you 10 XP. So you get like a, quite a big bonus to your XP early on from that mod, which isn't intended. But I don't really know if there's a way around it. Anyways. I'm liking doing the Companions quest line right now, so let's continue on with that. We'll head on out. Probably quite a lot more we can do in White Run, to be honest. You there? We're looking for someone in White Run. We will pay good money for information. Who is a it woman, you're looking for? A foreigner in these lands, Redguard, like us. She is likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. Is that the guy's we wife? Are welcome here in White from Run. the dude with the soul. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. Okay. If you locate her, find us in Rorikstead. We should keep moving. I mean, I plan to, but I can't leave. Lucy, all right? Yeah, where? Yeah, it's kind of an interesting way of leveling up. I, I like it a lot more than the base Skyrim leveling. I think it just rewards you for actually doing stuff rather than just leveling up your skills. It can be a little bit weird, and like I said, it's it's got this strange curve of like super fast early leveling and super, super slow late leveling. But I think it means that you can just kind of jumpstart the game a little bit, and it means that you don't have to feel so underpowered early on. It's, it's not like you feel overpowered, but like you actually get some skill points in like the base level um, ones that we just got for... Uh, for one-handed combat. I don't even know if I'm going to stick with one-handed, by the way. That's kind of up to you guys. Go with, we'll go with that. Interesting little, uh, little thing we got here. Little veranda sort of idea. Interesting. Gazebo sort of thing. Okay. Let's make our way towards this fragment. Quite a ways to go. I mean, I'm in awe of how amazing this area looks. <laughs> Like, normally, Whiterun is such a dull area, and there's so much going on here now. I mean, I don't mean Whiterun itself, I mean, like, the outskirts of Whiterun is normally pretty dull. Oh, some slight popping with the trees there, but... There once was a hero named Lucian Flavius, whose singing and writing and looks were just marvellous. What is going on over here? Seems to be a giant camp. There's like a thing up here. Well, let's see what's going on in here. Oh, we can unlock this door. How many lockpicks do we actually have? We have five. It's only an apprentice level one, so... There we go. 
I want to see if there's any extra loot in here we might be able to grab. The trees have kind of taken over this area a little bit. So who the hell would have been staying up here then? And I'm guessing the giants had something to do with the reason they're no longer alive. <laughs> had a bit of gold in them though. Those giants maybe don't like gold. But there's a chest there. Iron Woodman's Axe, fine. Okay, nice. Tomatoes there. Okay, so not not an awful lot here. I'm head over to this bit though. Okay, it seems that they've uh, they've caught onto my presence and aren't particularly happy with it. I'm hoping I can jump up here. There you go. No, oh, I fell. Yeah, I, I hear him um, not being too happy with my presence here, but this is a really cool area. Right, we're heading this way. Let's go. Having this thing is super useful. <laughs> Look at the grass, man. It's so dense. What's that up there? Ooh, that looks awesome. Right, we're almost there. We're 200 meters away now. We can also do some hunting at some point as well. Um, that would be a good way to earn some money. Uh, we do have Hunterborn enabled, which allows us to like skin and take the pelts off of enemies. Um, enemies, not enemies, uh, animals. Ooh, hello, some mud crabs. Let's have a little tango with some of these mud crabs. The other ones don't seem even remotely bothered. Oh my god, we, dest we literally destroyed that one. health real quick. I really like having that. I'm glad I bought that spell. It was slightly pricey, but I'm really glad we bought it. Okay, this he said he said this is gonna be our trial, so I imagine there's gonna be a good bit of combat going here. Oh we got another one of these stones as well by the looks of things. Oh fuck me! That's a saber cat. Oh, v Vilkus, Vilkus, help me. Oh my god, this thing's, this thing's strong. Oh, dude, 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 dude. No, no, no. Stay the hell away from me. Okay, Vilkus did a good job with that thing, because I was most certainly about to die there, thank you. So yeah, if I remember correctly, what we can do with this guy is we put our stuff away. Put our stuff away. There you go. We can come up to it and then search and then field dress. And then skin the pelt. I think it does progress the time when we skin. Ah, oh, we got a poor quality pelt though. Butcher the meat. Yeah, it progresses time when we do this, because it takes time to do. And then we can dispose of it. Nice. Right, thank God Vilkus was here to help us out, man. Was it Vilkus that was with us? I think it is. Anyways, let's, let's grab this. I might want to um, go and go into my mod configuration for experience and tweak the XP a little bit. Where's experience? It'll probably be in wherever he is. There he is. Experience. Exploring. Yeah, we could we could technically tweak the XP for all of these down a little bit. Um, 
We'll lower these ones down to 10. We can always increase it later if it feels too slow later on. There's just certain stuff that's clearly, uh... Clearly a bit too much. Landmarks, 5. Drag Dragon layers we'll keep at 30. Farms, 5. Wood mills, 5. Mines, 5. I know this is taking a little while here, but... Okay, so... Do you know what? Actually, there's some of these that I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put on zero. Some of these that I don't think there's any point getting experience for. Like all of these are just silly. I don't need experience for stables and stuff. Imperial towers five. Clearings zero. Passes zero. Altars zero. Rocks. <laughs> Lighthouse five. Orc strongholds, we can go for 10. Giant camps, we can go for 10. Shacks, 0. Okay. A Li little bit tedious to do this now, but I think it's worth it. Daedric Shrine's fine. Castles, probably go down to 5. Military camps, we'll put to 0. Doomstone, I don't know what Doomstone is. Um, camps we can put down to zero. Caves we can put down to... Yeah, five's fine. Settlements, towns, cities, all five. Okay, good. And then leveling. We've got this here. Reading multiplier. Multiplies experience reward gains from reading books. Interesting. General. Maximum level. Use to determine skill cap for players. I'm not quite sure what this is. Anyways, this is fine. I think that's good. Let's just save after we've done that. And yeah, let's head down here. Oh, here he is. He's here. We should keep moving. It's not Vilkas, it was Farkas. Okay. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Let's head on in. Yeah, just slow down the leveling a little bit, because it is incredibly speedy right now. I don't know if we get leveling, like, level for killing things either, actually. Let's, let's check on that. Um... Experience. Do we get levels for killing stuff? Doesn't look like we do. Right. Definitely want to put our torch back on here. We definitely want to put our helmet back on here as well, actually. There we go. Looks like someone's been digging here. And recently. Tread lightly. Right, it does. Right, we'll try and unlock this. It's only novice, so it should be pretty easy. There you go. Ooh, okay. Nod record. I've not been picking that up because I thought it was something else, but it seems to be money. A. Two-handed skill increases. Nice. Should increase twice, right? Because of my race, but... Ah, because of my religion, but I guess not. Orcish burr. Hello. Is that better than the burr I'm using right now? That it is. That it is. Oh, wow, it's quite a bit better as well. Okay, let's drop that and then add that to my queue. Lovely stuff. Okay. Let's continue on, guys. Let's continue on. Let's see what we can find down here. Be careful around the burial stones. I don't want to haul you back to the old... Is someone there? Okay, we hear some enemies in here. Oh, Lord. Where's the fire coming from? Okay, I think that's... I think that's Lucian with the fire. Oh no, it's him. Damn you. I need help over here. Just die. Oh, I got shot in the face. Is That'll over? teach him. Did we win? Right, Lucian, I'm gonna need you to not yes. use fire right now, because that's very distracting. Let's talk Certainly. about your tactics. Let's talk about your combat but style. Of course. Fight as an archer. I shall rain arrows on them from afar. Hopefully they won't shoot back. Thank you. Right behind you. Come on, come on. Good got enough. him, nice. What's B dot Adam main? I've gotta see what that is. Okay, no. It's it's nothing. Okay, let's keep heading through. They weren't too bad. Open up this door. 
Hack and slash our way through those. Can you imagine how many years of dust these ruins have gathered? If you piled it all up, I wonder how much it would weigh. Probably quite a bit, my guy. Probably quite a bit. Okay, we've entered like the main hall area. Lord sacrifice place. Be careful around here. Let's look for a way to open the bars. Well, I'm gonna guess there's gonna be some spooky boys approaching us. What, what the hell's this? Oh, it's just an enchanting table. Okay. We don't have anything we need to enchant right now, I don't think. Okay, we've got a lever here. Also got some potions here. Oh, that's trapped me in here. Now look what you gotten yourself into. No worries. Just sit tight. I'll find the release. Oh! What was that? That's it's a lot of guys. Die, dog. We knew you'd be coming here. Your mistake, companion. Which one is that? It doesn't matter. He wears that armor, and he dies. Killing a you will make for an excellent story. Lucian, get in None here. None of you will be alive to tell it. Oh lord, I forgot about this. I knew it happened at some point, but I thought it happened so early. Um... Well, okay. <laughs> that was, um... I hope I didn't scare you. It's a blessing given to some of us. We can be like wild beasts. Fearsome. You're gonna make me into a oh, werewolf. No. Only the circle have the beast blood. Prove your honor to be a companion. Eyes on the prey, not the horizon. We should keep moving. Still the Draugr to worry about. Yeah, that was... That was pretty surprising. I guess we're just gonna gloss over that mer mercilessly. Silver hand amulet. Got a potion there as well, by the looks of it. What does the silver hand amulet do for us? Silver hand amulet. Okay, it's literally just something we can sell. I guess I'll take them just so I can sell them. Okay, let's keep it moving, guy. You were kind of spooky there, but we'll keep it going. There. I heard something. Iron oh, there's more silver hand in here. Oh, dude, these guys are level 10. Right, I'll take out this one. Okay, uh. Lucian, what did I tell you about using magic? It's very distracting. It's useful, but it's very distracting. I mean, I'll take a silver hand crossbow, why not? A few potions here. Another amulet, why not? Right. Lucian. Look, we need to talk about this. The companions are werewolves. Or at least some of them are. He's right there, my guy. <laughs> Shocked? Oh, well, yes, I suppose I was. But more importantly, isn't it fascinating? <laughs> I know, amazing, right? Isn't it? I mean, did you see it? The entire physiology completely transforms. One organism transitions to a totally different one. I'll have to study this in more detail. Just think of the research! Sure thing, my guy. Um, let's talk about Certainly. tactics, and let's talk about spells. Spells it is. Stop casting Frostbite. Too chilly for you? No problem, I can rein it in. And Certainly. I'm gonna stop you casting flames as well for now. Spells it is. Stop casting flames. Oh, alright then, I'll put the flames away. Just, it's just very distracting. Let's go. <laughs> I need you to, to rein it in a little bit. Climb up this ladder here. Can you guys not climb? Sorry, fellas. What's back here, anyways? Is there anything important back here? 
I don't even know which way we're meant to be going. Oh god, there's, some, there, there's, there's, there's people here. My friends, my friends, I'd like to come back to your side of the pond now. Where, where, where'd you go? I've lost them. I've lost my friends. <laughs> okay, I think they went through here. Okay, they did. Good. Gonna die for that. Okay, yeah, Lucian's actually behaving now. God damn. Vilkas is taking a beating. I keep calling Vilkas Farkas even. We're good. They're carrying a lot it's of silver. Years to build this place. More bolts, another silver amulet, Got a chest here. It's only novice, but let's give it another one. I really like the fact that the lock picking has different interface based on what you're lock picking. Nice. Okay, not much there for us. Okay. Farkas, I don't actually know where we're going here, so... I was going to say maybe through here, but also maybe not. I was kind of hoping you'd be leading the way, but I guess that's not the case right now. I'm taking all of our amulets. Let's give a quick save there. I'm surprised these aren't opening up to reveal enemies. Often they do. Okay, I see I see a one of them right here. Look at this guy. He thinks he's all sneak and sleepy. Come on, come on. That'll teach him. Thinks he's all sneaky. There's probably a few more of them about there, yeah, from the one. You can just tell. Oh lord. There's another silver hand in here. Take care of them first. The silver hands are pretty goddamn tough. <laughs> Look at him handle that two-handed sword. My god, that's amazing. Can, can we discuss this? I saw my life flash before my eyes. It was much too short. Right, nice bit of healing there. At least we getting a lot of money out of these guys, man. A lot of money. Part of me feels maybe we shouldn't be here. Take this! If only a little boy lets himself get surrounded. I'm quite liking the two handed animations. I might have to swap to two handed at some point. Another thing as well to think about is we can always up the actual in game difficulty if things start to get too uh, easy later on. I let you guys see here, Karen. God damn, his sword does a lot of damage. There's, like I said, there's going to be these guys everywhere. What I'm guessing is the case with this mission is that on the way back, these would all wake up and we'd have to kill them all. I'm definitely still going to have to turn the, uh, the the audio down of um, the effects and stuff. I think I'm just going to turn the master down a little bit. And voice up. Like in some areas, it's like. Not too bad, but when we're, when we're hacking and slashing, goddamn it's loud. But yeah, I reckon these guys would all wake up if we left them, so... An adept, adept's chest. Okay, we feel it about there. We've only got three lockpicks left, though. Hey, we got it. And... We got some half decent stuff out of that. Lovely. Thank you. I don't know what the um, the end of this mission is going to be like. I haven't done this mission in a long while. The again, these are definitely going to open with enemies at some point. I'm sure of it. Is someone there? Oop. There's another silver silver hand up top. Can I get to you by any chance? Oh, dude, that arrow hurt. Ah, I can't. I can't jump over there. This is over. Multiple silver hand here. Ow. Let's change to our um, our aggressive stance. Oh. 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 
Lucien, I'm not meaning to hit you right now. I apologize. Mercy. Just keep dodging for now. Oh my god, he hit me again. Oh my god, this guy's tricky as fuck. Ah, he got me. Damn. It's very difficult to dodge when the uh, there's that little space in here. We're going to have to replay some of this. I did save fairly recently though, so we should be okay. I'm just going to re-kill a few of these. Yeah, I'm going to swap to uh, my aggressive stance. That'll teach them. But which way are we going again? I'm, I'm a bit lost. I'm a little bit lost. Right, you, two, you two take care of him. Nicely done. Let's to see which which way is gonna be best. That's good. Not too bad. I think one's actually the best, you know. Kind of tricky to say. Right, let's get out our burn arrow first. Try and take out this guy. We do have some fire arrows. Two. And three. Whoa, that? that was beautiful. Oh, <laughs> those fire arrows are good. There's all three of us wailing on one guy like this. It's kind of it's kind of crazy. I'm really liking the shield. The shield is amazing. Leave Lucian alone. Only a fool lets himself get surrounded. I have so many silver hand amulets, I don't know what I'm going to do with them all. I was hoping what I could do is I could, like, mantle up onto that, but I can't quite reach it. Is there anything up here? Nah, I think it's just a platform for them to shoot arrows at us from. Right, let's keep it moving. Yeah, act like I could. I could maybe do um, two-handed at some point. Oh, hello again. It's, uh, That's all you got. Just the one of you? No, there's another one further back. Oh my god! I'll rip you in half. Gonna die for that. A scroll from this guy. I haven't really used scrolls much. There's no escape. I think I accidentally picked up one of the pieces of armor though. Yeah, I did. But My bad. I could, I could take them and sell them all, I guess. But it's kind of fun to just watch these guys. This is why I don't have. I, I like having multiple followers, by the way. Because this is what happens. They just end up doing everything for you. I like having Lucian because he's, he's pretty chill and he's pretty weak. Um, but if you have, like, multiple high level followers. They can really start to basically take over combat to the point where you're not doing much. Okay, there's a lot going so on here. There you won't leave here alive. Yeah, no thanks on that. Honestly, the combat's still pretty tough as it is. Like, even when there's three of us, like, we're kind of struggling a little bit. I mean, these guys are over our level right now, so... Oh my god. Launched them. And there's seemingly a lot going on in here. Well, you're certainly a big old chap, aren't you? I don't suppose you'd like to sit down and work this out over a cup of tea. <laughs> Lucian, <laughs> what are you doing, my guy? He's just sprinting at them. Lucian, you're meant to be a researcher. <laughs> He's so into the combat. 
Honestly, at this point... Yeah. There's some fire arrows in there. I missed him. Oh, yeah. This guy's actually got quite a lot of health still. Wait, are these are these two fighting each other? What happened here? He just dodged me as well. Yeah, these Silverhand people are all fighting each other. There's some infighting going on. This is tricky, especially with these two on the floor. Honestly, just 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 wait and see what happens with these guys. Oh, someone just hit me with an arrow. Oh, I accidentally woke a Draugr as well there. My god, that was intense. <laughs> they were all like fighting each other and stuff. I kind of wasn't expecting that. The fire arrows were, were very, very nice to have. Uh, there's the person still shooting me with arrows. Right. Give me a hot second here. I need to heal up again. I'm get this back out. Level up again. I think we're going to go for health again here. We've got two perk points right now. I didn't realize we had two. Um, so what we've got going on here then. Reduce the sound across the power attacks with one handed by 15 points. That's pretty useful. We'll take that. Um, and then in archery... Bashing with a bow or a crossbow staggers bows deal 20% more damage to the target to that target for 10 seconds. Bows do 20% more damage to tags of full health. That's pretty interesting. Light armor, is anything we can do with this yet? No. It requires 20. Maybe we can keep going into speech potentially. Nah, because we, we're level 33, but only a fake level 33. We don't actually have 33. Um I guess we just hold on to this for now then. We don't need it right now. Is someone there? Yeah, my guy, I'm gonna power attack the hell out of you. You're gonna die for this. Oh god. I don't know what happened there, my camera got stuck in the wall. Yeah, they just <laughs> took care of that themselves. Ooh, potion of cure disease. Very nice to find. Very nice to find indeed. I'm guessing we've still got quite a lot more to go down here. Another adept lockpick. We've got more lockpicks now, so we should be okay. Well, lockpicks seem a bit scarce compared to vanilla Skyrim. Normally vanilla Skyrim, they're like the easiest thing in the world to come by, and you just seem to have an endless supply of them, but here we're actually kind of struggling. Vampire dust. Okay, this is just uh, some ingredients, but I'll take them. I don't know if I'm going to get into alchemy or anything. I very rarely do in Skyrim. But, I don't know, this this playthrough might be the time, especially if you guys suggest it. I would not be, uh... I would not say no to it. Okay, this this room looks, uh... Looks like it's gonna be a little difficult. Hey, we got the, uh, we got the key at least here already. Which, very nice to see. There you go. Oh, that's a skeever. I was like, is that a wolf? Why is there a wolf down here? It's just a skeever. What was that? God Don't worry, we you. got it. That can give us the diseases though, so we gotta be careful about those things. That'll teach him. That will teach him. Teach him to be a rat. Look how much health he has left. I think I did actually get a disease then. Let me just check on that. Um that I go to magic, I think it is. Apparently I do have this damage immunity thing. I don't I don't want it. <laughs> yeah, I got some sort of lockpick thingy going on here. Nicely done. Can I deactivate that power? Wherever that is. 
I don't know where that is. Maximum mending. Where have I got that from? That seems very overpowered. I don't know where it is, but I think I shouldn't have taken this. Fall damage immune and vampire and werewolf. I'm not quite sure what that means. Vampires and werewolves who do not believe in the gods will fall to their death, strangely when using paragliders. Fred quietly helps vampires and wolves. Ugh, so I think this just makes you immune to fall damage if you're a vampire or a werewolf. I don't think it makes us immune to all fall damage, which is good, because that's not what I wanted. The door here. That was a very quick break of that lockpick. I mean, we are t apparently 25% worse at lockpicking right now, so that might be why. Health potion, nice. I think with health potions, we can use them by holding B. Is it B? Yeah. And then... Yeah. We just hold B and then hold B again on it and it'll use the potions. And where else are we going from here? Through here, I'm guessing? Oh, well, this, this is where we came from. I'm gonna guess so. There's a lot going on down here. Through all these webs. Oops, spiders. I was not expecting that. Okay, gotta be careful because the poison on these guys is pretty brutal. Okay. Is there any more spiders? There is more skeevers, though. No spiders. These things are tricky. They're so small. Kind of hard to hit. We have a mod on called Precision, which means that your, your axe swings or sword swings or whatever actually swing where they're supposed to swing. So that's why we've been, like, hitting walls and stuff like that. They were good. Ooh, he's got an, a Nord Twin Blade. Sounds pretty interesting. Okay. Probably don't need to use a fire arrow for this, but I'll be, I'll be honest, I don't know how to change your ammo, so I'm just going to fire it anyways. <laughs> okay. We're, sh we're probably right near the end of this now. I wonder if this is going to be like a dragon wall. Large wooden shield on that guy. Probably got a few more Draugr down here to deal with. To keep an eye on the walls. The, is that one? No. That's a dead one. Looks like all of these are dead ones. I think we're okay. Receive the fragment. Okay, this is the last room. Probably our last stand, and I'm guessing these doors here are going to open up for us. Oh yeah, it is a dragon wall. Okay. Okay, we've got some potions here. Yep, I had a feeling. Try and block where I can. There's going to be a lot more where that came from, so don't... Don't get too, uh, too easy on it yet. Do you know, give me, give me that shield. And... Let's put that shield on. Nice to have a sword and shield technique going. Oh, we've got a staff there. Come on. I'll take staff and necrotic fire. At least these all got these uh, are all level one at the moment. Very easy for us to dispel. This guy's trying to hide. No, 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 no. Ooh. Running into an enemy and then slicing is pretty cool with the axe. I like that. And then you're a restless frog. Okay, you're not too bad. Oh, he is the boss, though. He's got an actual boss bar on him. Let's try and take out the other ones before the boss. I love if we keep sprinting, it'll just like chase them down. That's really cool. Okay, he's, he's trying to run again still. You can't run from us. 
We got him. Nice. Okay, that's that's the entire room cleared. Is there anything else in this room that we want to suss out real quick? Anything we want to grab? Ooh, hello. One of these opened up into a secret passage. Now that I was not expecting. Ah, this is an exit. I see. Okay. Beautiful. So I just want to check if I, if I now equip my, uh, if I like change my equips, and then change back to my. Yeah, it'll, it'll always equip the shield. That's really nice to see. I like putting the shield on my back as well. Right. Okay. Pretty good quest there. Managed to get a. Uh, managed to get that fragment done and yeah, slay some silver hand. Find out about the uh, the werewolf part of this little clan of companions. And oh my god, it's quite dark out now. Right, let's let's chat to to uh, good old Fox here. We need to get back to your Vasker. Who are the silver hands? Bad people who don't like werewolves. So they don't like us either. I would imagine, sir. The companions are well. Not everyone, but all the circle are. It's a secret to everybody. Apart from me. All right. right. Let's uh, let's take a little jaunt back over to um, Yavaska. So yeah, as you can see here, we can travel straight to Yavaska uh, because of these extra map markers. Oh, one of the lights isn't working. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh my god, look at the twinkly lights in the sky. Oh. Ho, 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 holy. I love it. Absolutely love it. Anyways. We've been awaiting your return. Hey, Vilkus. Come, follow me. Sure thing. Hello. Brothers and sisters of the circle. Today we welcome a new soul into our mortal fold. This man has endured, has challenged, and has shown his valor. Who will speak for him? I stand witness to the courage of the soul before us. Would you raise your shield in his defense? I would stand at his back, that the world might never overtake us. And would you raise your sword in his honor? It stands ready to meet the blood of his foes. And would you raise a mug in his name? I would lead the song of triumph as our mead hall reveled in his stories. Then the judgment of this circle is complete. His heart beats with fury and courage that have united the companions since the days of the distant green summers. It's nice for this to be happening in, with ours, in the dark, the with all these lanterns. The mountains may echo, and our enemies may tremble at the call. It, it shall, shall be so. 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 Am well, I a companion boy, now? You're yeah. One of us now. I trust you won't disappoint. Very, very nice. What does it mean it to be a companion? It means such that your shield siblings would proudly say they fought at your side. Glory in battle, honor in life. Deal with problems head on. Leave whispers and sneaking to the gutter rats who can't fight for themselves. Nice. We are, we are officially a companion now. So we now can get we're to proper work. companions. We are. Or at least well, you I, are. I guess I am, yeah. I helped. Does that make me one too? I'm sorry, I keep meaning to give you this, since this arrangement seems to be working out all right for us so far. Hey, there it is. Oh, it's a Dwemer resonance sphere. Just something my father gave to me before I left home for when I found myself someone to travel with. When activated, it resonates with its twin, which I'll always keep on my person. That way, if we're ever separated, all you have to do is give it a rub and we'll be able to find each other, no matter how far apart we are. Handy, right? Very much, Don't thank mention you. it. I mean, hopefully we won't have to use it very often. I'll stick to you like a... 
like, uh, oh, I don't know, something sticky. Yep, that's what I'll do. Thank you. Let's see if we can do some training, Lucian. If you come over here, answer the training dummies. Can we can we train you up a little bit? Everything all right? We don't think we can train you up yet, can we? Damn. Eventually, we'll and be able to train we you up. Okay, let's jump down there and go to bed. Distribute our skills again. I didn't notice any of my skills level up, actually, so I think we can only level them up by sleeping. Head down to sleeping quarters. We'll get a, a kip first, and then we'll speak to people in the morning. Right. It's 5am at the minute, so we don't need to sleep for long. Five hours. Yeah, there you go. So, we get skill points here. Yeah, I don't exactly know how these work. So, if I go into... Doo -doo 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 -doo, let's do warrior skills. Let's just do some two-handed so we get a little bit of two-handed going. How much does it cost per? Three. And then one-handed, does it still cost three? It still costs three. Okay. I'm not exactly sure how this works, then. Does this work out to be about the same amount of leveling that you normally get? Or more? Hard to say. Get that up to 20. Just in case we want to use two-handed. Block we can get up to 20 as well. Um, what's that archery? Our archery's at 20 already as well. Lock picking I think I want to boost up a little bit. And then sneak we can boost up a bit too. Yeah, it seems, it seems pretty fair to be honest actually. Seems pretty fair. I like the fact that I can mantle over this bedpost while I was laid down there. Yeah, look, watch this, watch this. Me get the line up just right. Whee! <laughs> just to mantle over that. I love the fact that we can, like, climb onto everything as well. Lucian, do you need to sleep? Hey, Vilkas. Come to me with questions. I know our history almost as well as Vignar by now. Except I can remember it. Like work. We've received a desperate missive. A citizen of Whiterun has been kidnapped. The companions have been asked for assistance, and we shall answer. Particularly when the pay is as good as this. Get moving. I shudder to think what might happen if you're too late. Okay, great. We're starting a rescue mission. There's I no certainly don't mind that. I think we'll probably leave off the episode here. This is a good stopping point. Um, we'll head out into White Run, and we'll go from there. We'll, we'll we'll end the episode in the same place we started it in. Sat right on this chair. <laughs> there you go. Right, I think that's a pretty good uh, pretty good start to the first episode. Uh, first few episodes, should I say? Very much so. Can I, can I not unequip while I'm sat down? Apparently, I can't. Let me. Let me quickly get up so I can unequip this. There you go. And sit back down again. Gotta be able to see my face. Right. I think we're doing pretty goddamn good. We are ready to go ahead onto our next quest. We'll probably continue on the companion's quest line, but I also want to do some other stuff before we start off the main story as well. Yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.